Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Pisces for the month of May. It is a general reading. That means it may or may not resonate with you. If not, check your moon and your rising sign. If you still don't find your messages there, check back in the following week when I put out a new message for your sign. Okay. I feel that this is um, a relationship where boundaries uh, came into question and you wanting the other person to respect these boundaries. This is a, a relationship you were wishing or hoping to be able to, um, to set down roots uh, with this person, to build um, something solid with this person. There is reflection on this wish. I feel that um, you began this relationship or you were in this relationship, um, but you like you go in with high hopes, but then it's like um, you're not getting along. There's no cooperation. You're sure they're up to something. You're questioning uh, what they're up to or even their motives and intentions. You feel uh, in this position of being powerless because you feel like you don't have the truth about, uh, about this person about their intentions, about why they uh, wanted to be in this relationship or uh, for some, why they came back to the relationship. You're confused um, with regards to this relationship here. Um, being very cautious and careful because you're sure uh, that something <clears throat> like the losing my voice, <laughs> you're sure that something is off, something is wrong. Things aren't working. They're not going the way they were supposed to. So with regards to your wish uh, to set down roots with this person, something unexpected either has occurred or will be occurring that um, feels or, or that is out of your control because uh, hindrance is here. So it's like um, it, this can be a faded event that blocks this path. You see, here you are. And if I look at this scene, here they are um, coming back, right? And you're deep in thought about this person and about them either coming into or getting into this relationship and their reasons for it because you're deep in thought here with this Nine of Swords in reverse. Or why they came back if this was a reconciliation. You're deep in thought about the wish. You were trying to ground this relationship to set roots down, but it got blocked. Getting honest with yourself here as you're deep in thought. You may feel like you can't uh, win this this one or, or can't. You have the same ace appearing here. And th this is about um, this relationship and starting it and... and um, putting the roots down. You, 
you feel like you won't be able to do this. For those whom this is a, a reconciliation, the person came back and now you're questioning them. There would have been lies and deception in the past and now, and, and, and it's like you went back to the same thing, hoping to get a different result this time. The other person um, may be kind of a, they may do impulsive things. Um, someone kind of reckless who doesn't follow rules or makes their own rules. Um, you're trying to look at this logically and you are being asked to do so there with the hourglass it's like I feel like um, it's like hesitation or pulling back for you you're questioning somebody's sincerity, their honesty, their intentions. So here we have the four of clubs and the seven of spades. So the, the seven of spades again, and you see we had that seven of swords here. If they did lie and, uh, you know, and were deceitful in the past. They are still so in the future because it, it is a card of lying and deceitfulness. Somebody irresponsible. It can be that you want to escape this uh, situation. It could be that you were lying to yourself about uh, achieving this goal of being able to plant these roots deceiving yourself maybe clearly the person you were dealing with uh, is appearing as um, somebody who was uh, unfaithful um, it seems like emotionally at least if you're still with this person they they've put the distance between you uh, maybe giving you the cold shoulder um, it could be that you're having to walk on eggshells around this person if you're still with them. For some of you, this will be physical distance that they, they've actually uh, put here. So this person, I feel, would have taken advantage of you here. Five of hearts. And the eight of diamonds so the eight of diamonds brings change so uh, the change is um, we look to the other cards to see whether that change is good or bad okay um, and we know it's not good because of the five of hearts which is a card of loss and despair um, you may now be regretting the decision um, to get into a relationship with this person or to take them back, whichever uh, situation you're in. Going over or thinking back. The um, <clears throat> Two of Clubs and the Ace of Spades. So the Two of Clubs speaks to uh, obstacles with regards to gaining success with some with something it can indicate being unable to proceed and coming with the um, ace of spades which is in the reverse here um, it speaks to you're unable to proceed because of dishonesty or this person's dishonesty
And so um, I feel like with regards to this new beginning, um, I feel like, uh, or reignition, uh, uh, reigniting the flame, um, I feel like you were, again, unable to gain any, uh, any ground here. Um, I feel that this person has um, broke through those boundaries that you set up, and I feel that this is uh, ultimately what will bring a decision with the judgment here for an ending because you know you have the wheel in reverse so your desire for this relationship took a turn for the worse you have the card of commitment in the reverse and it's a, a card that would suggest that um you could have or be walking into a commitment that you will later regret, which I, I feel that you do most definitely regret this decision. Um, because first of all, it is a card that's saying it's not a good time um, to uh, get into a relationship or to sign agreements um, or to make a choice that ties you up for a long period. Because if you're in a relationship, um, you you may not get or receive the commit the commitment that you desire, and you most certainly don't. But it also tells you not to despair because there's something else much better awaiting you. And this is why you see hindrance has blocked this path for you because there's something else there's someone else there's some place else that you're meant to be now is the time for agreements to be broken but remember that rejection is God's protection and what hurts you now leads you to wisdom later. You also have the bone collector at the bottom of the deck. So when she appears, she's asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, um, it's as if something essential is stolen from us we adapt and accept a particular version of the truth that then sets us up to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation that reminds us of the original event. So um, what we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable. But the bone collector reminds you that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities and she has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you to reclaim it now she is your inner resource act as if you have what you need and you will find that you have it after all I thank you for watching, for liking and sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.